Hi, my name is King. King. Yes. Hi, uh, my name is Elvin. Nice to meet you. So, personally, I'm thinking that Christmas is only about Christ. That's all. Wow. Because I learned that before this, I thought Christmas is just give us a, a change, this and that. Yeah, you can think it that way. You exchange gift with people, this and that. But don't forget that God is changing His life with your freedom. Yeah. <laughs> it saves you from sins. So, without Him, today will not be happen as well. But remember. Christmas is not only celebration about exchange gift, but it also the showing that the purpose of Christ in our life, mm. the things that He did for us. Wow. Mm. Yeah, personally, for me, uh, I think looking at all the decorations and mm. trees, yeah. and everybody gathering, and family, and good food, and I think that's what everybody wants, right, in the month of Christmas. Sure. But there's something more deeper than just uh, meeting up and getting gifts and all these things. Personally, for me, I believe that uh, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And, and most importantly, I think during the Christmas season, right, when you go about this, the only month, you get to say like, you know what, Jesus is free. You can uh, sing uh, worship music, you can go to the mall, you can tell like, you can come to the church, the best time to invite friends to church. Uh, you can just freely speak about why we celebrate Christmas and what's the significance of the birth of Christ to the people around mm. us. Jesus to me, he is a healer. He is my savior. That's all I can say. Yeah. So healer and the savior, yes sir? For me, I think uh, Jesus is a miracle worker mm -hmm. and he is my protector, mm -hmm. my fierce protector mm -hmm. and my provider in everything that I yes. do. Um, about my daily life and my daily situations when I make decisions. It's either you make a decision that leads to life or decision that sir. leads to death. Yes, sir. So me by myself, I can't do that by myself. That is why Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit in me to decide and to make decisions that lead to life instead of death. So I think it's more of a personal relationship, an everyday thing with Him. And as time goes on, you grow your relationship with Him. And yeah. Well, just gather two or three percent and press and worship God. That's all. That's where you can show your gratefulness to Christ. Yeah. He is waiting. Yeah, I think there's a great one because uh, people tend to um, do the bigger picture. Yes. Like um, as a church together, we go to, to the mall and we sing songs, hymns, choirs, and all these things, right? Mm. And we end up missing the personal relationship yes. with Him during the month of Christmas. And we tend to forget the actual reason that we are celebrating is because that He came down, forgave our sins, and it is a gift that he came down that is exactly why we give gifts during Christmas, Christmas. Oh. Yes. it is a gift from God it is a gift to us so that is how gift came along yeah. right yeah. Yeah. wow that's amazing mm. so we give at least I don't understand that, but we give gifts because God gave his gift to us yes. yeah, he gave his gift to us first that's good you should know that that's good yeah <laughs> you know what's good at well Merry Christmas Merry Christmas <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, um, that was a beautiful interview between my two brothers, King and Alvin. And you see that the very important thing they shared was that Christmas is all about Jesus. And not just Jesus, 
um, as a name or Jesus as a person. It was a gift given by God to humanity. It was a gift for our redemption. God in John chapter 3 and verse 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So Jesus is a gift God gave us because he loved us and wanted to redeem us back to himself. So Christmas is all about the celebration of the love of God. It's all about the celebration that God gave to humanity. It's a, it's, a, it's a celebration of the gift of God. So when we go through this Christmas period, let's understand that this is beyond just the parties, the, the, the housewarming party, the, the outings and all of that. It's about the gift of God. So we are celebrating Jesus. And what does Jesus mean? Is Jesus means love is a gift from God to us. So let's keep it in our hearts as we go through this day, as we go through this season, that we are loved by God. We are eternally loved. God loves us and gave His only begotten Son for you and I. So you don't have to feel rejected. You don't have to feel down. You don't have to feel depressed. No matter what you're going through, God loves you so much that He gave His Son for you. And the Bible says in Romans that if God cannot withhold His Son from us, He can't withhold anything from you. He wants to give you all things because He has given you His, His Son already. He has given you the perfect gift, which is Jesus, for your redemption. So all your sins are forgiven as you accept Jesus. So if there is someone out there that uh, wants to start a relationship with Jesus, that wants to say to himself, I want my Christmas not just to be all about the drinks, the food, but more uh, I, I'm deeper in my relationship with God. I want to know Jesus more. I want to experience his, his, his life. You know, like my brother said, Jesus has been different things to them. He has been a healer. He has been a protector. He's their savior. He saved them from their past, from their sins. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're experiencing, there is a more deeper relationship with Jesus that you can enjoy. So I just want to pray for someone out there. If you want to give your life to Jesus, if you want to receive this perfect life, this abundant life, can you say this prayer with me? Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you came to die for me. I believe you rose again on the third day. I believe that you, you've paid the price. You've paid the debt. You've paid my, for my sins. Come into my heart. Come and be the Lord of my life. Come and change my life. I want a close and intimate relationship with God. Help me, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. If you have prayed that prayer, congratulations to you. You have become a child of God. God, you are welcome to God's family. The Bible says when one soul is turned to Christ, there is so much joy in heaven. So because of you, there is joy in heaven. So I want to implore you that you can visit any church close by, every Bible-believing church around you. Go and tell them that you just give your life to Jesus and you want to start a walk with God. And... I wish you a very beautiful and an amazing Christmas celebration. Celebrate it knowing that you have the best gift, the best gift, which is Jesus Christ. God bless you. See you next time. Peace.